Hi friends, welcome to Storytime with Jess. Today we are reading Antonio and the Big Bad Wolf. This book is by Emma Jimenez and illustrated by Javier Ratti. It was Monday morning and Antonio had just awakened as he did every morning. Antonio went about his daily routines. He brushed his teeth, got dressed, and went straight downstairs to the kitchen. Before Antonio could slip out the door to head to school, his mother stopped him to give him his daily lecture. Now Antonio, please make sure you pay attention in class today, his mother begged him. Yes, mom, I know, replied Antonio. Antonio, do you remember our talk about stranger danger? Remember, a stranger is anyone your family doesn't know well. His mother continued. Yes, Mom, I know, answered Antonio, as he glanced over the family clock to look at the time. Antonio, remember that no one can tell if strangers are nice or not nice just by looking at them. Not all strangers are bad, but it's difficult to tell the good ones from the bad ones. So please be careful and don't talk to strangers and come straight home she told him for about the hundredth time. Yes, mom, I know, replied Antonio as he rolled his eyes. Don't accept anything from strangers either. Remember that a bad stranger will want you to disobey your parents or do something without permission, exclaimed his mother. Yes, mom, I know, replied Antonio, already becoming annoyed at his mother's many warnings. Come straight home right after school, his mother insisted. Geez, Mom, I know. Antonio snarled as he started to inch his way toward the door, ignoring the breakfast his mother had prepared for him. Antonio went to school and decided not to pay attention in class. He spent his school day sleeping at his desk rather than listening to the teacher. It was typical for Antonio to do this. Little did Antonio know that the teacher had an important message for the class that day, a message that he needed to hear. Class, there is a big bad wolf that has escaped. If you see him, run away. He will try to trick you with treats and gifts. Beware of his evil doings because he only wants to gobble you up. Try your best to fight him off. Just then, the bell rang to dismiss the class. Ring, ring, ring. Antonio awoke from his long slumber and dashed straight to the door. He was ready to go home. On his way home, Antonio was confronted by a big, hairy wolf. Where are you going? Where are you headed? The wolf asked as he came out from behind a tree. I'm going straight home, Mr. Wolf, shouted Antonio as he passed by. Don't go home. Come with me. I can give you all the treats you want to eat. It will be our little secret, exclaimed the wolf. This made Antonio stop. He enjoyed candy and treats, and the wolf seemed nice. Antonio turned around excitedly to ask, What kind of treats? Do you like chocolate, candy, and toys? The wolf asked. Oh, do I ever, shouted Antonio as he jumped for joy. The wolf pulled a piece of candy out of his pocket. Here, have a sample of this sweet piece of chocolate, the wolf told Antonio. Without hesitation, Antonio yanked the piece of candy from the wolf's hairy hand. He immediately unwrapped it, ate it, and went straight off to dreamland. The chocolate had a sleeping pill inside. Poor Antonio had been a part of a great big lie. The wolf took him to his cabin in the middle of the woods. Now do you think he could possibly be the big bad wolf? Antonio should have listened to his mom because everything she said was true. It is important to remember whom we can trust. The big bad wolf wanted to turn Antonio into stew. What an awful thing to do! 
the wolf was outside in his yard getting ready to put Antonio in to his giant cooking pot. Just then, a lady who was hiking in the woods noticed what the wolf was doing and she quickly hid behind a tree. When the wolf had his back turned, the lady jumped out and hit the wolf on the back of his head with her big overstuffed backpack. She then awakened Antonio by splashing water on his face. Antonio was very confused and scared. The lady showed Antonio her police badge and assured him that although she was a stranger, she was a safe stranger. Safe strangers are adults. Children can ask for help when they need it. Some of them are police officers, firefighters, and teachers. A safe stranger is someone who can always be trusted. Then the lady said, hurry boy and run on home. Go straight to your mother and don't stop running until you get there. Antonio ran home as fast as he could. When he saw his mother, he hugged her as tight as any boy should. Antonio told her everything that had happened. Then he promised that from now on, he would always listen to her and be more attentive and obedient at home and at school. Antonio now listens to his mother every time she speaks and he also pays attention in class. Isn't that a relief? And he hasn't seen or heard from the big bad wolf since. The end. Thanks so much for joining us today with Storytime with Jess. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next.